Hello everyone. Now that we have Eclipse installed on our machine, let's go ahead and write our first program, Hello World. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our first program. The steps we're going to follow, after we start Eclipse, we're going to create a new Java project. After we create our Java project, then we'll create a new class, which will be called Hello World. Our project will also be called Hello World. Then we'll add a statement to print out hello world in the Java code, and then finally we'll run the program. So let's go ahead and jump into Eclipse and run through each one of these steps. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and jump into Eclipse and write our first program. So I'll double click on the Eclipse icon, and it takes just a few seconds for Eclipse to come up. Notice it's loading a few packages there at the bottom, and it takes just a few seconds. So now that the program is up, I'm going to create a new Java project. And the dialog comes up, and I'm going to name this project Hello World. So there we go. And I'll go ahead and take all most of the defaults that are here. Notice the Java runtime um, environment selection. But go ahead and take the default. We've already installed did that on our install. And so now we'll go ahead and to our next part and we'll create a new class. So I'll, I'll put in the same name for our class, which is Hello World. And one thing I'll add, since this is going to be a console program, I'm going to add the selection to add the, the static method for main. Every console program has to have an entry point. And if you select that, it'll go ahead and create the signature for you. So notice we have a package called Hello World and then a class that's referenced inside that package, also called Hello World. And notice the main method that's put in. So now I'll go ahead and type um, system.out and notice how Eclipse is helping me if, when I put the dot and I'll put in the print line statement. Now inside the print line statement I'll go ahead and put our Hello World and this has to be a string. So I've put this in and, and now we'll go ahead and try to run this. However, you're going to notice that there's going to be a mistake here. So there, it points out that we've had an error and it tells us that the string is not properly closed. So the strings in Java have to be within two double quotes. So I'll go ahead and fix this and rerun this again. And there we go. Notice at the bottom is the console window where I'm pointing down here now. The console window then has the output for the program. So let's make this just a little bit more interesting. So I'll declare an integer, um, the, va the uh, variable i, and then I'll put in a short loop. So I'll start at zero and I'll go to less than 10 and I'll increment i by one. And then I'll go ahead and encase the, the print line statement in a um, closing brackets or curly braces. So I'll go ahead and indent this so I can see what's going on with the code and I'll replace the to do comment here. Let's put something a little more interesting, a little bit more descriptive in here. I'll just describe our, our loop and if everything's typed right I'll go ahead and click the run icon and notice again that we have output in our console window. So now it's looping through and printing out Hello World multiple times. So one of the nice things about the console is that um, you can copy and paste from the console. So if you have output that you want to copy and move into another program, you can easily do it here. Uh, if you want to clear the output from the concept, you can select clear. So there's a lot of different things you can do with the console. So um, I'll close this window and notice if I double click on the package explorer again I can bring the window back up so and if I want to run it I can either select run from the menu or run from the icon in the toolbar so this is really the basic operation of Eclipse uh, we've written our first program we'll build on this for the next lesson in summary we've written our first program to show the basic operation of Eclipse We'll use this example to build on for the next lesson. For example, we'll look at the debugger, some of the more advanced editing features, and then later on in the class we'll also look at some of the different types of projects you can create with Eclipse. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson.